white folks. Okay? I want you white folks to think. You own slaves. Your, your forefathers own slaves, okay? A true slave is not permitted to read and write. Alright? The, the, the Anunnaki gave us the culture that we had in Samaria. Okay? They taught us to read and write. They gave us books. Alright? A slave, a goddamn slave, is not taught to read and write and build. Okay? And if he's gonna build, he can't know measurements. He can't know the language. Okay? You white folks should know. You white folks should know. God damn it. If we were slaves, if black folks were slaves in Samaria, the, the Anunnaki created slaves, they wouldn't have taught them how to read and write. Just on that alone. When you white folks did not let black folks, slave owners, back then, there wasn't no, you can get your ass licked for learning how to read and write. Don't come at me with that bullshit. Stop that bullshit. The Anunnaki did not create men, us, black folks, to be no goddamn slaves. Alright? When you white folks say, when your, when your forefathers did not allow they black slaves to read and write. That, that, was the, that was a real slave. Okay? That's real slavery. Okay? Not learning how to read and write. Now, like I said, these goddamn reptilians, they need to be disposed of. They need to be gone. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I hope you folks, I, I know you probably say this nigga is crazy. This nigga is crazy. If I'm crazy, you have to think the goddamn government is crazy also. By the decisions that they make. Part of the decisions that they make seem kind of crazy is because they don't want you to know the shit that I'm talking about. They don't want you to know. And like I said, the reptilians are running fucking scared right now because of the shit that's out in space. See, they're not challenged here. They are not challenged here whatsoever. This is heaven to them. They do what the fuck they want. They do what they please. Don't have to answer to nobody. Don't have to worry about nobody coming knocking on their door, questioning them. Alright? They, they, this is a safe haven for them. So with this whole thing with Nibiru getting in out of space, well, the planet circling around, that's well, the more than likely there's life on that planet, on the planet somewhere. Okay? And to get rid of these motherfuckers, to have bad shit they got, to clean up the solar system, to get the motherfuckers off of our backs, it would take a solar system to do it. It would take an army that, that is within the solar system to come in this solar system to clean up shit. That's what it would take. Alright? Nukes. Yes, I would love to have me some fucking nukes. But that will only be scratching the goddamn surface. Because you need an army to take them out. And I ain't talking about no special forces or nothing like that. The government to try that shit already. I'm talking about a motherfucking army technologically advanced that's strong like me. Period. They're strong, they're, they're smart, they can take these motherfuckers out. You white folks, y'all ain't got the job done. You have it. You scared to step on toes, okay? You gotta follow policy. When these fucking reptilians don't follow policy, except for when they on circle. That's the only policy that they follow. That's their only allegiance. Their allegiance is not to your ass or anybody else on this planet. Their allegiance is to their own. That's it. Like I said, it would take something like that to get these motherfuckers to, to, to leave. 
or to back them up in the corner somewhere in this damn solar system. So, you know, you white folks talking about the Anunnaki coming here to rule the Anunnaki, if they come here, they come to help your ass as well. See, in the Bible, it talks about the whole world going up against God, okay? When he comes back. And this is all the fucking uh, Negro, and along with the planets, can be translated as God coming back and the, and the, and the, and the planet and, and the people on this planet going up against Nibiru or should I say the Anunnaki, okay? You have something that ain't been here in 3,000 years coming outside the solar system. It could be anything on there. Anything. See, you gotta understand with power. The way these motherfuckers think. They think about their own survival first. If this thing is a threat to them first. They ain't worrying about what anybody else on the planet. They want to know, is it a threat to us? Is it going to benefit us? That's all they're concerned about right now. And they shaking in their fucking boots. Because this thing ain't been around in 3,000 years. I'm pretty sure the Anunnaki has advanced since then. Oh yes. The only motherfucking people that the, that the reptilians respect and can't fuck over like they fuck over us is the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki will put the fucking reptilians in their place without buying no damn weapon. Okay? Just the presence alone. will make them want to do, will make them play fair with us anyway. But since the, 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 the they've been away, they could, they did what the fuck they want to do. They say, fuck it, we gonna run this planet the way we want to, because ain't nobody here to help y'all asses. And then the people that can not help y'all asses, we have already made alliances with them. And cut deals with them. And I'm talking about the reptilians. That's their mentality. They know any kind of help that's coming for the people on this planet is going to be outside the solar system because they got this fucking solar system already wrapped up. They got it in their hand already. Because they didn't, there would be fucking wars. We would know about these wars. We would see them in the sky. But you don't see shit, basically. Not, not back then. Nope. That's why I say, you, you talk about some extra, you want to talk about extraterrestrials coming here, you know, helping humanity, being peace. They might be here to help y'all. They ain't here to help us. They ain't here to help black folks. Okay? They are not here to help us whatsoever. They do not consider us being the same. They did the basic fucking humanity. They would have helped black slaves back then. They would have got them the that shit would have been eliminated. They would have shot down every goddamn slave ship that was coming to Africa. They didn't. They allowed it to happen. So that's why any motherfucking extraterrestrial, if your ass ain't black, you better get back. If you are not black, you better get the fuck back. I'm telling you plain and simple. Because I'm gonna give y'all ass something to make you fucking scream and holler. You come, if you are extraterrestrial and you are not black, you better get the fuck back, alright? I don't wanna see no fucking extraterrestrial talking about they coming to help me and my people. No. You not. Give me your goddamn ship, okay? Give me your goddamn technology, then we might be able to talk. We might be able to talk. And you better not be reptilian. That's the only kind of deal I'll make. You won't occupy shit, okay? You give me your ship and I will fly you back to where the fuck you came from. Cause that's the, that's the only way you, you going in the ground or is it you going back where you came from? 
Those are only two options you have. Don't talk at me talking about you here to help me. I don't give a fuck what kind of disaster happened. You let me die just like my ancestors did without your goddamn help. Cause that's the only way I, that's the only way it'll be. I will not get on a ship with no fucking extraterrestrial talking about they gonna help me. If you ain't black, get the fuck back. That's all I have to say about it. Any person, any person with half a brain would know that shit. We the worst people off on this planet. Used to be the greatest civilizations on this planet, but we all brought down not to our fucking knees. We are brought down to our damn chance. And you talking about coming to help. You white folks talking about extraterrestrials are here to help us. They here to help y'all. If you believe that. They not here to help us. No, they not. That's all I have to say on it. I hope you white folks wake up. I hope you black folks wake up and see what really what is really going on. All right, because it, I don't want y'all to be deceived no more. This shit should have been stopped a long time ago. A long time ago. These reptilians have been running shit for the longest. When is the pain going to fucking stop? It's going to stop when you make it stop. It's going to take both black folks and white folks to band together to, 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 to get rid of the pain. That's what it's going to take. They security rely on us being divided. They know if black folks and white folks are divided, Arabs, religion, that's the, that's the what keeps them in power. That's insurance for them. So this whole nonsense about racism and all the other bullshit, if you, if you racist, you need to wake up. You, you can't even blame the black man for the financial crisis. He don't own shit. He don't own shit in his own neighborhood. You can't blame the black man for that. You blame yourself and you blame the goddamn reptilians. Okay? That's who you blame. You can't blame black folks. You cannot, especially when you becoming the new minority. Now the way these motherfucking reptilians operate, they got, they have, they can shift power to black folks. Okay, they can take your fucking wealth and give it to black folks, and play black folks against you motherfuckers the way y'all played us a, a, a long time ago. They can empower black folks overnight and have y'all enslaved overnight okay i won't fall for that bullshit you have a lot of black folks jumping on the bandwagon just like they jumped on the bandwagon with barack obama oh the first new black president ain't a goddamn thing changed nothing you see that shit it don't matter if the, if, if, if the reptilians have a black face representative or having a white face representative, it's going to be the same shit. And that's what people need to wake up and realize. Until then, my next video. You all take care, be smart, and be safe.